Well, we are just a day away from the start of the Whitman Coin and Collectibles Spring Expo in Baltimore. Marty's at the convention center getting a sneak peek. Good morning, Marty. Well, good morning again and again. Good morning, everyone. Hopefully, you're doing well. You met Michael Pfeiffer uh, with Whitman before the break, and you brought us a real treat, John Krelovich. Pleasure. Good to meet you. Yes, sir. You told me that's the period guy, period. That's the guy. That's the guy. Does it embarrass you when people in your industry say you're the guy? A little bit, but I got two big sisters to keep my ego in check. So okay, we're, yeah. we understand that. Um, it's more than just coins. In the next half hour, we'll get into if you think you have something valuable, how do you know to come down here and talk to John and other folks like him? But you brought us something to look at. I did. Can we talk know. about that gold? This is mind blowing. So it's a little heavy. You got to eat your Wheaties before you pick this up. This is 86 ounces of gold that went down in a shipwreck in 1857. Uh, a ship called the SS Central America hit a hurricane off the coast of the Carolinas. It went down. It stayed down until 1987. It actually started an economic disaster because they had so much gold on board. When it, it sank, it caused a panic. Seriously? Seriously. If you melted that down, yep. what would it be worth? About 120000 bucks worth of gold in this object. As a matter of fact, off camera, you can't see him. There's a security guard <laughs> standing here to make sure nothing happens to that gold bar. That's right. Tell us about this metal here. All right, so this, this metal is a great piece of history. This is a, a witness to a treaty that was signed between the United States of America and a bunch of Native American tribes in 1795. And if you look at it, it actually depicts uh, a Native American chief standing sharing a peace pipe with George Washington. So this would have been given to a Native American tribe to basically congratulate them on becoming allied with the United States. So with this show, it's more than just coins. It's heavy-duty collectibles. That's right. Coins, medals, paper money, tokens, all sorts of things. Real quick, and we'll touch more on this next half hour, how do you know if what you have might be valuable. Well, a good start is gold and silver things are valuable just because of the precious metal content. Uh, a general rule, the fancier the holder they're in, the less they're worth. If you bought something on TV in a real fancy box, the box is probably worth more than the contents. But bring it down. We've got people here to, to take a look at things, and we're happy to share our knowledge. Okay. Now, coming up, we're wrapping up. But you see this, this bill here. It has local interest, local history, and national relevance. Coming up next half hour, we're going to talk about something from Ellicott City, Maryland. Y'all stay tuned. Back to TV Hill.